Hello everyone. So in this video, I will show you how to white glove a PC. So this is a Surface Laptop 3, which we will do white glove. So first of all, I will turn it on. This PC has already been registered in uh, Intune. The device ID has been uploaded and uh, now it's ready to be white gloved. It's a hybrid AD join. So now the PC is turning on. On the first screen, uh, we will select the language, which is English United States. Now here on this screen, if we click on yes and go with the region, it will do a normal autopilot. But as we have to do a white glove, so we will have to hit the Windows key five times. But before we do that, we need to have a network cable connected. However, in my case, I do not have network uh, connected to this because this uh, PC doesn't have an Ethernet port. So we will connect it to Wi-Fi and uh, then do a white glove. In order to do that, I will need to open command prompt. For that, I will press shift and the F10 key. So now command prompt is open and I can run my commands and uh, connect to Wi-Fi. Here on the command prompt, I will open control panel. by running appwiz.cpl. Here I can see uh, what all applications are installed and if I want to remove something, I can do that. I will go to control panel home. I will go to clock and region. Here I can verify the time if it is correct or not, the time zone as well. So sometimes this causes issue during white glove if we have a time mismatch. So let me set it up correctly. I could also run a command to set the time. Now I will resync the time by running w32tm slash resync. But this will fail because we are not uh, connected to internet. So let us connect to internet first and then go to control panel home and here i will connect to my wi-fi so let me put in the password and uh, pause this video while i do that so i have put in the password and let me connect to my wi-fi so i am connected to wi-fi now and we will run the resync command and now the time has been set up successfully so let us uh, start the white glove. We will press the Windows key five times. And we will select the second option, which is Windows Autopilot Provisioning. And we'll click on Continue. After a few minutes, it should uh, give us the screen to start the provisioning. It will show us the profile assigned to this PC and uh, then we will click on click and then we will click on provision device now we have got the screen to start the provisioning and i could see that it's showing my organization name as well as deployment profile i will click on provision now it has started to provision the device and now we don't have to do anything. We just have to sit and relax. It will go through its own paces and install the required apps which we targeted and then give us the reseal screen. Now it has gone to this uh, just a moment screen and then it should show us the device preparation setup and account setups ESP page. So this is the ESP page. Here we can see that there are three stages to it, device preparation, device setup, and account setup. So during white glove, it will only run device preparation and device setup, and will not run the account setup. And uh, account setup will run when the user gets the device. 
So once it's uh, completed, it will give us a reseal screen. At any stage, I can press in the Shift F10 key and get the command prompt. And from there, I can uh, run Event Viewer or access C drive or any USB stick, save the logs there. So I have pressed the Shift F10. Let me do that again. And it should show me command prompt. Command prompt has come up and here I can go to Event Viewer and check the event IDs for troubleshooting purpose. Or I can open Explorer and from there I can save the files to USB or check my C drive and copy the logs. First part of the setup is complete, the device preparation one, and now it will do the device setup under which it will install the application. So you could see zero of 11 apps installed. So it will install the applications and then it will give us the reseal screen. Now the Windows Autopilot uh, setup is complete and it's also showing us the time it took and we will click on the reseal button it will shut down the machine and then it's ready to go to the user and when user turns it on he will get the out of box experience screen and the machine is ready to go i hope you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video Bye bye